Hello everyone and welcome back to AK Academy. Here we are back again to continue this course after uh, this uh, uh, long cutting, but yeah, finally I found some time and here we are going back again to complete it until the end. So, as you remember, the last thing we have implemented is designing this form and implementing the logic of selecting a file. And we can continue this, just something like this. So, we are able to select a file type the title and the description, and you click save, and actually nothing happened, just showed this message. So now all we have to do, it's going to be a very simple task, is to submit the data that we are taking in the form. So let's go ahead and do that. And then the create process is done. So if we go to pages, plans, create edit plan, which is this one, this one that will be used to uh, create and edit plan at the same time. We have plan four, which is existing in the components, plans, plan four, and here it is. So this is the form that we have designed, and we have implemented all the logic required. We have bound the elements, and oh, sorry, the fields. We have created the, the mud file, and everything is ready. So if we go to the code behind file, so I will click over here and click go to Implementation, here we go. Now we have this file. So this form is not implemented yet. So let's go ahead and start doing that. So we will start by defining is busy equals true and we will end by is busy equals boss, just something like that. Then we are going to implement try catch exception. So this is in case of any exception that happened that we don't know about it, whatever it is. We are going to log that later. To do log the error and for now we are going just to show it in the error message equals the x dot message which in this behavior and the other type of exceptions we want is the API exception right because because this exception is what the API returns we are going to take a look at that so something like this so here, there is a logical error, comes from the API. If I go over here by clicking F12, and then I, then I click Control F12 to go to the implementation. You can see after we send the request, we check if the status code is a success, then we return API response slash plan detail. This is what the API returns. And in case of the error, we get this object API response, and then what we do is actually we throw an API exception, right? So doing this is actually, this is why we are handling this exception. So uh, I'm sorry, it's not ex.exception, it's API error response dot message because this object, this is just a quick reminder to contain the message and a set of errors in case there is any and this success and it's always false. So, it is this symbol now. What we are going to do is just to basically send the request. So var result equals await plan service dot create async. And this one takes model, the model that's bound to the form, and a form file. So we don't have yet a form file, which is an object we have created. We will check if the stream is not null, which means the user selected the file. So we will make then, ah, sorry form file equals null. So in this case, form file equals new, and it will take the stream and the file name. If you remember this one, we have just done it to transfer the stream and the file name in a wrapped object to the services. So this is it. And in case of not selected, then keep it null. We don't need it. And after the result, this means if it's failed, then this one will be thrown. Other than that, we will just success here. So we can basically, let's for now just navigate to the public navigation manager, navigation. And here, we'll type navigation navigate to slash plan, right? So that's great. Now, let's just try to 
test this but before let me tr check if we already this is the button and we have to make disabled equals is busy right so if the request sending the button is disabled and then the user cannot click anything else cannot click it multiple times and at the same time it doesn't indicate that there is something like wrong right uh, or uh, the application is loading so let's Run the project and see what we have. So here we go. Now if we click add plan, oh okay. Here we have to fix the router because it's slash four. It's not only add or edit because it's the same form. So here we go. Uh, learn Azure and Blazor, something like that. I will learn Azure and Blazor. So let's pick a picture for now. I will take a very random picture that Close this and now let's click save and here we go the button is disabled the request is sending and it's done successfully take a look at this it's available for us here that was very very simple now let's try to make another one but without picking a picture I'll type uh, install Windows 11 this is a plan so get check requirements and do something I will not pick a picture, I'll just click save. That was so fast, but here we go. We have a new model that's much better. So right now creating is has been implemented successfully. Now this is it. The next session we are going to implement edit, which actually going to go to actually slash four, but slash ID. And we will take that ID, fetch the data of the plan, show it here and with, with the previous selected picture and the user can either select a picture, new one or keep the old one and he can click save. So this is everything we are going to implement. Thank you so much for watching and sorry again for being that late, but here we are back again on the track and see you in the next video.